वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स इफ यू आर न्यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड वॉच ऑल द प्रीवियस वीडियोज इन सिक्वेंसियल ऑर्डर सो दैट यू गेट एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लेट्स ए स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स टूडे ऑन प्रेडिकेट एंड क्वान्टिफायर्स so here we have a list of three statement all lions are fierce some lions do not drink coffee and some fierce creature do not drink coffee and they have defined three statement like px so px they are calling x is a lion right another statement uh, or another function propositional function that has been defined that qx which is x is fierce and the third one is that is rx which is uh, x uh, uh, what is the third statement x drinks coffee so x drinks coffee that is given in the uh, statement itself for our convenience we have written it so that we can see it clearly uh, one more thing that we need to be clear about that when we are talking about all these statements what is our domain of discourse right what value the x can take so the domain of discourse consists of all creature which is also mentioned in the problem itself right so the human being is a creature the dogs are the creature the cow is a creature so we are considering about all the creatures okay so if you have to uh, translate this and what they are expecting us to do they are expecting us to express the statement in the arguments using quantifiers so we have to use quantifiers we have to use px qx and rx these statements that we have defined so let us call them let me let me call this statement a let me call this statement b and let me call this statement c so that there is no scope of confusion okay so the first statement is uh, first statement is all lions are fierce so it is very obvious to write that i will take for every x Uh, if x is a lion means if px is true then uh, the lions are fierce so this implies qx right for all x if px is true then qx if x is a lion then x is fierce okay uh, the second statement is some lions do not drink coffee and here a uh, lot of students make mistake because this is slightly confusing so uh, before i write my statement i would suggest you that pause the video try writing it yourself and then see that whether you are able to write it correctly or not right now what will be the correct answer in this case is the correct answer in this case will be there exist x px and negation of rx right what is px px is x is a lion and x does not drink coffee so there are some such x means there are some lions uh, which does not drink coffee right but in case you have written your answer like some of you might have tried uh, that uh, writing the answer so in case if you have written your answer there exist x px implies negation of rx this will be a wrong statement why it will be a wrong statement or wrong answer let us understand this we all know that whenever we talk about a conditional statement p implies q the conditional statement is true if p is false right it is false only when p is true and q is false this is a very important observation so if p is false then also the q will be uh, uh, and q is true then also p implies q will be true okay now if i look at this statement this statement is true if i write this statement this statement is true uh as long as as long as there is at least there is let me write there is at least one creature one creature other than other than lion even though even though every lion 
every lion drinks coffee drinks coffee now let me repeat this thing again suppose i take a, a statement uh, suppose i consider that every lion drinks coffee right the statement is saying that some lions do not drink coffee now look at this in a different way for the time being assume that every lion drinks coffee right and take x as a creature suppose i take the creature as ramesh right so p ramesh what is p ramesh x is a lion so p ramesh is ramesh is a lion which is a false statement so this statement there exist x px implies negation of rx will be true in this case also even though every lion drinks coffee so this will be slightly contradictory to the original statement that we are trying to write that some lions do not drink coffee and if we are writing our answer like this there exist x px implies negation of rx and suppose every lion drinks coffee but if there is at least one creature uh, which is not a lion in that case also this statement will be true if you got this fine in case if you did not then please uh, try to think about it and put your comments in the comment box so that uh, i can uh, you know answer accordingly now the last statement is that some fears creature do not drink coffee so here also you see that there is something like some fears creature so i will write there exist x and if x is a fears creature means qx and in that case x does not drink coffee so i will write negation of rx here again you should not make the mistake of writing there exist x qx implies negation of rx for the same reason that i have just explained so this is a very uh, you know popular common mistake a student make i hope you won't make this mistake and whenever you are writing there exist existential quantifier uh, put the and symbol between you know two uh, propositions okay so uh, let's move to the next uh, question so uh, in this question uh, there are four statement px qx rx and sx uh, what is the statement px px is the statement that x is a hummingbird right x is a humming bird what is the statement qx uh, so px is x is a humming bird qx x is large rx x lives on honey sx x is richly colored and in the statement they have specified that domain contains all birds right domain consists of all birds which you can see here so we have to translate this uh, p, uh, statements using uh, predicates and quantifiers quantifiers and px qx rx and sx so let us do it so what is the first statement let me call this a b c d so the first statement is all hummingbirds are richly colored so in this i don't think anyone should have any doubt we already have done a problem so i write for all x px means x is a hummingbird implies uh, richly colored so that is sx so px implies sx very obvious now look at the second statement and here the students usually make mistake no large bird live on honey so uh, how can we translate this so tra to translate this i am going to uh, look at this statement in a slightly different way and uh, for example uh, let us write the statement that there exist a large bird there exist a large bird so there exist x what is x x is large so there exist a large bird qx and it lives of uh, lives on honey rx no large bird live on honey so in spite of translating this statement i am taking a alternate route i am writing this statement that there exist x qx and rx so it means what 
that there exist some bird which is large and which does not live on honey which lives on honey sorry let me repeat it uh, i am writing if i write this statement there exist x qx and rx so it will mean what that there is uh, qx means there is some large bird which lives on honey but the statement is saying that there is no large bird lives on honey means basically they are saying that write the negation of it negation of this statement will be that there is no large bird which lives on honey what i wrote originally i wrote the statement that there is some large bird which lives on honey but the original statement is no large birds lives on honey so i am taking the negation of it i hope you got it if you did not please think about your, uh, this yourself and then put in the comment next statements birds that do not live on honey are dull in color so birds for all x if it does not live on honey means negation of rx x does not live on honey this implies it is dull in color so dull in color means negation of sx uh, if i say something is dull in color it is the negation of something is richly colored i hope you understand the word richly colored and dull in color now the final statement is humming birds are a small so how should i write for all x if x is a humming bird px implies x is a small means negation of qx because the original statement qx is x is large so if i have to write x is a small it will be negation of qx so this is how we can translate these statements okay let us quickly solve some more problem next problem i am going to solve in the next slide so look at this uh, problem here let px qx and rx be the statement x is a professor which i have written here x is ignorant and x is vain respectively express each of this following statement using logical connective and px qx and rx where the domain consists of all people domain is all people so i hope you have already understood that what they are expecting us to do i hope you also know that by vain i mean that someone who is too proud of their own appearance and abilities uh, apni akal aur sakal ko leke ghamandi bekhte <laughs> okay so how do you uh, translate the first statement no professors are ignorant means for all x for all x px implies negation of qx right i mean no professors are ignorant can be also seen as that every professor is not ignorant right so that is how i have written for all x means if x is a professor px implies negation of rx right no professors are ignorant can also be seen as every professor is not ignorant if i look at the next statement all ignorant people are when so how i will write i will write for all x ignorant people means qx are when so when is x is uh, when means rx so qx implies rx this is also very obvious i hope you are getting no professors are when means this can again be seen as that every professor is not when no professors are when can also be seen as that every professor every professors means for all x px implies not when means negation of rx but there is a uh, fourth part also and let us look at this fourth part and uh, i will explain it and you can take a pen and paper and try writing your answer does c follow from a and b so the answer it c does not follow from a and b what is the reason because here the statement b is saying that all ignorant people are when right but premise uh, does not rule out the possibility that there are when people other than those who are ignorant as well right it is not always necessary that only ignorant people are when right there may be people who are uh, you know when even though they are not ignorant we have seen it in our day to day life that we we come across lot of people who are kalakar even though they are uh, you know not necessarily ignorant right so the answer is does she follow from a and b the answer is no right thanks for watching